We good? We're good. Hello again. I'm wearing exactly what I was wearing in the last video because it's the exact same day about 30 seconds later. Um, if you missed the first video, I had accidentally gotten my Paradise Fibers bag, stuck it on the bookshelf, and then forgot about it for an entire month. And when my second bag showed up, I realized that I hadn't done anything with the first bag. And so, boom. I just finished doing a video on the first bag. Look for that. Probably about, you know, it might take me about a day to upload. It takes me a long time. It's a 14 minute video. It's probably going to take a little bit. So go ahead and look for part one. This is part two. You really, you don't have to watch part one before part two. Because, yet. Yeah, I don't have to explain this to you. <laughs> it's, it's, they're two very standalones. But that's why I'm wearing the same stuff, because it's the same day. Okay. First off, check out this. Look at that. Definitely donut, cupcake, candy, birthday party. Definitely a theme there. Let's see what we got. These scissors are terrible. But I started using them for cutting wire now because I'm making like I'm doing a lot of jewelry making right now, just for fun. And so these scissors have been starting to be used for wire and stuff. So they're they're not they're not doing so well. I've also got paint all over them and nail polish. And these are just my all around crummy scissors, which I shouldn't have called them crummy because now they're not going to work at all. Just rip the bag open. Okay, what have we got here? Well, not what I expected. I mean, looking at this, you're thinking pinks and purples and pastels and surprise. This is like a Crayola explosion in here. Okay, let's pull some of this out so you can get a better look. A lot of colors going on in there. It's a little bit darker than I anticipated. We've got a stripe of some sort of silk running through there. It's definitely woolly. So, you know, the last, if you watched that first video, I guessed Shetland and I think it turned out to be Merino. This feels kind of the same, so I'm going to go with Merino, but it's got, it's definitely got silk running through it, and I think it's mulberry silk. It's super, well, silky, you know. I'm loving this. But now the colors that we got, those are interesting. We've got like a dark forest olivey green. Let's hold this up so you can see. We've got like a dark foresty green in here, almost olive, but like darker. Uh, we've got a navy, like a royally navy blue. We've got some dark purples. Let's see, can you see the purples running through there? Yeah, there's some purple, some red. But this red bead right next to the purple makes it look magenta. This white uh, streaks through there, that's the silk. Very interesting colors. Not a combination I would have really expected, having seen the bag. Okay, let's see what else we got. The notions back. White. Now, okay, the last bag was full of color. This first thing that I pull out was full of color. So yes, I'm happy we got color again. And then I pull this out and we're back to white again. Oh, that's kind of soft though. I mean, if it's white, at least it's really soft. I don't, I want to guess alpaca, but I don't know if they carry alpaca. So I don't know if that would be a good guess. It feels kind of like meta, meta knowledge. Really soft. It doesn't halo like Angora, but Angora would also be another thing I would have guessed. There's a little bit of streak of white shininess through it, so I'm guessing there's silk in there. And the way that's sticking to my dry hands, that's also making me think silk. 
So something cloud, cloud soft, wooly. It could be merino, but I'm thinking it's something softer and more luxurious than that. Why is it got to be white again? <laughs> but it is super soft. Very soft. They did go through a phase of a lot of white bags. So I'm glad that we got some color. What have we got here? We've got... Okay. Una, Red Eunice with a beard. I'm not understanding this theme. Sunny orange ginger. Sounds good. As if I'm gonna drink it. Oh, it's got a name on the back. Paradise Fiber Sheep Sticker Potter Claws? What is Potter Claws? And then... The stitch marker is a milkshake. I mean, super cute. Come on. Focus. Oh, this is never going to focus. I can never get these charms to focus. Look at it. It's cute. Focus on it. Hide my face. Okay, I give up. It's a cute little milkshake charm. Almost, almost root beer floatish. What is this theme? I don't understand this theme. Let's take a look. Oh, this is all bent up. Uh, I got it out of the mailbox and I really need to visit the mailbox more often because it was crammed full. So, Boom. Paradise Fibers. Oh, okay. It's their birthday party. So I always forget their, their like anniversary, their birthday is in, um, uh, August. But what do we have in here? Merino and Mulberry Silk. That seems to be what they do a lot of. Super fine Merino and Tessa Silk. That's what the white is. So that's why it felt even more I mean, I guessed merino, but it felt more. So that's apparently because it's super fine merino. And it's not mulberry silk, it's tassa. And then this one, whoop, I'm stuck on the bag. Charm silk is stuck. Okay, this one, what color is this? It's a real hard guess. I'm thinking, no. What would you guys think? So we've got Juniper, Gemstone, Storm. Was it Damson, Peppercorn, Salvia, or, or say, yeah, Salvia, and what's this? Sorbet. So, I'm thinking one of these two in the middle. I'm probably thinking this is peppercorn. It's hard to tell. Let's pull this out, take another look. Because this has got a lot of these okay, blue and green and red and purple. And gemstone looks like it's got a lot of that. But peppercorn looks like it's got more blue. I have no idea. None whatsoever. But it is... Merino and Mulberry Silk Blends is the icing on the cake. Versatile 22 micron multicolor morsels are a decorator's dream. In this, in your bag is approximately two ounces of one of our delicious colorways. These blends are made in New Zealand by Ashford. That's kind of cool. 
um, and consists of 80% merino, oh, 22 micron merino, and 20% mulberry silk. I totally guessed that mulberry silk. I knew that. Um, in your mystery bag, you will find one vinyl sheep sticker. Boop. One stash tea. Boop. And one ice cream cup stitch worker. Progress creeper. Which past Fiber Club favorite did you get? Oh, so it's supposed to be a mystery sticker, stash, and uh, one of those charms. Oh, and even probably even this little bag is also different. So that's kind of cool. That also explains, because they sell these stickers, also explains why there's a barcode on the back. So I, I kind of think they went through past stock and just started scraping things together and buys, which is cool. It's a great way to get rid of old stuff and make room for new. But yeah, so that's what I got in the, um, oh, here. Thank you for eight wonder filled years. This is still pretty beat up. So it's been eight years. Has it been eight years of the fiber club or eight years of paradise fibers? Eight years of mystery unboxings and magical fiber adventures. Okay, so it's eight years of the fiber club. Very cool. Oh, this is neat. So it's got some of the YouTubers. Uh, right off the top, these three, I follow them. Uh, Chemnit Tutorials. If you don't follow her, she does awesome dye pot stuff. Like, she does all kind. Of, she does this one thing. Okay, her whole thing is all about... Um, uh, the different ways you can dye stuff, but there are some colors where if you dye it in a certain way, the color, like, you know how, like, uh, blue and yellow make green. Well, certain, like, dyes, if you dye it in a certain way, that using green dye, it breaks apart into its blue and yellow components. So I think she calls it breaking. There's a, there's a black Wilton dye that breaks, and that is some of the coolest stuff. Um, Fiber Love Diaries. She's fun. She's the one that I watch almost all the time for Paradise Fiber box unboxings. Um, she is a lot of fun to watch. And then Jillian. Jillian, I just recently started watching. She does a lot of cool, um, like different techniques and things like that. So um, if you're looking to learn something new, Jillian's probably the, the one to follow. And then down at the bottom, it looks like we've got just a, a bunch of Instagram people which I'm not super busy on Instagram, so I don't know if these are, are just fans or if these are, you know, influencers or something, but fun, fun. And then a, a, a tiny baby sweater. I don't think it's an actual baby sweater. I think it's like a baby sweater ornament. No, okay, maybe, maybe it's supposed to be a newborn sweater. Okay, so that is uh, August bag. I hope you guys had fun with that. I hope you have a good day. Hopefully I'm not as bad uh, with next month's box and I'll actually get a chance to do a video on time instead of letting it sit on the bookshelf for a month. But I am crazy busy. So next month is the LARP month. So I'm really getting ready for that live action role playing. I love it. Okay. You guys have a good day. Talk to you later. Bye.